the BBC science fiction series Doctor Who is 50 years old this month and its legions of fans are celebrating all over the world with many events taking place here in Ireland and in Britain. A special episode of the programme is to be broadcast on Saturday night. Last night, writer and filmmaker Derek O'Connor gave a talk on the phenomenon at the Irish Film Institute in Dublin to a devoted audience and our reporter Ashling Reardon went along. been running for 50 years on the BBC and it is a fantasy science fiction adventure show about a time traveller called the Doctor who can travel through space and time in a blue box uh, called the TARDIS which sounds silly when I kind of explain it that way. Why do you think um, it's been running so long? I think it's got a very certain uh, appeal, a really curious like most I suppose cult shows it's something that started off for one audience it was primarily a kids show and just then generations have grown up with it so there's a certain nostalgic tinge but then in recent years the show was brought back after a long hiatus with a fantastic budget and a new producer great actors pretty much kind of top of the line people so it kind of reinvented itself for the 21st century so it became a phenomenon all over again and in recent years it's been bigger more popular than ever is there a certain type of person who enjoys doctor who that's a very loaded question. Um, is there a very certain type of person? Um, I think it's two types of people because there's kind of classic Doctor Who, which I suppose is the show that was on in the 60s and 70s, people who grew up with it. And that would be probably uh, mostly tragic, uh, middle-aged, uh, bald males with glasses like myself. And then there's a whole new audience who have grown up with the new itineration of the show, which has been running for nearly a decade now. And it's won a lot of awards. It's been nominated for BAFTAs. It's girls now watch it, you know, it's a, it's genuinely, I think for the first time, cool. And there's one life I've tried very hard to forget. Now Doctor Who may be 50 years old, but people of all ages seem to enjoy it. So what's the attraction? It's everything about the whole show, really. You know, it's the it's the great it's like really great storylines and like I suppose like interesting characters and stuff like that. But it kind of doesn't just deal with kind of science fiction issues. It deals with kind of story like things about loss and politics, like whatever you want. It's it's in there over the fifty years. Um, well, for once, there's a superhero that uses his wits and is very anti-violence and sort of just fights so that things can continue going. And like he's very he's very against like changing the course of history and stuff like that. Yeah, I like how he's similar to the hero Odysseus from the um, Odyssey. He kind of uses his brain instead of brawn, and he uses science to overcome his enemies as opposed to using brute strength like Superman would. I like the adventure, the idea that the Tardis can take you anywhere, like anytime, any place, and all the different characters you come to meet along the way. As all the supernatural stuff as well, but uh, he's just a really, really good person and tries to do the, the best thing, but he also can turn it around and be like, uh, you know, a a really tough guy, you know, so he kind of is the ultimate nerd. Doctor Who, The Day of the Doctor, Saturday the 23rd of November on BBC One.